Hi, welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on exponential functions. What I'm gonna do in this video is I have a bunch of examples of exponential functions and I wanna kinda of get the vocabulary out. So the initial value, where you start when your input is zero. Well, your initial value is the number outside the parentheses, so it's just negative 15. Now it says, what is the growth or decay factor? This is your factor. When you have an exponential function, f of x equals um, c a to the x, c is your initial, zero c is where you start on the graph, and a is your factor. And it says growth or decay factor, our factor is 1.045. Um, it's just the two numbers that create your function. Um, from there, we can figure out growth or decay based on this factor. If the factor is greater than one, it's growth because you're multiplying by something bigger than one, the number is going to get bigger. If it's zero point, then it's going to be decay. To go from your factor to your rate as a decimal, you subtract one. If I subtract one from here, I get 0 0.045. And then to go from decimal to percent, we multiply by 100 and we get 4.5%. This minus one times 100 is almost the end of the story for how we move through these. So for the next one, our initial value is 1,250. It's the number outside the parentheses, it's the number without the exponent attached. The growth factor is 1.099. To go down, we subtract one, so we get 0 0.099, and then we multiply by 100 to get 9.9%. And because this is greater than one, again, this is growth. Okay, so let's look at a couple more. Um, our initial value here is 67. It's a number not without an exponent. The number with an exponent is 0 0.025. When we subtract one, we get negative 0 0.975. Now, that negative is not a number I normally write, but when we subtract, we'll get a negative. What I do is I usually just make it positive. That negative tells me it's decay. When you subtract one, if you get a negative, it means it's decay, but then the word decay takes over this negative and you don't need the negatives. That's a really um, fluid point there. Some teachers want the negative, some do not. Um, if I go to a percent, I multiply by 100 to get negative, uh, negative 97.5%. Uh, positive or negative, depending on if you're keeping it as a negative because it's decay or if you're making it positive. This one is a little tricky because what number is outside of the parentheses, remember that it's always w when nothing is written, there's an implied one. So my initial value is one. My growth or decay factor is 1.5 because that's what the exponent is attached to. Subtract one, multiply by 100, and this is growth because A, we subtracted and got a positive, and, or because the number in the parentheses is greater than one. I prefer the second method for determining it than the first. I like being able to look at this and saying, hey, this number right here is bigger than one, it's growth. Hey, this number right here is zero point, it's decay, versus subtracting to figure out. All right, here your initial value is 54 because it's the number without the exponent. The factor is 7.25. Subtract one, the rate as a decimal is 6.25, which is 625%. You can have percents over 100. Um, you can't give more than 100%, but you know, a 200% growth just means something is doubling in number. When you're talking about growth, it, you can have any percentage. I've seen uh, situations where your growth percentage was over 1,000%. That just means you have a serious growth going on. Here, my initial value is 266. My growth or decay factor, decay, we figured that out already, is 0 0.008. Subtract one to get 0 0.992. And when we multiply this out to get a percent, we get a decay percent of 99.2%. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.